This is Jillian here from the Go Hunt office, and today we're going to be going over my Wyoming antelope archery gear list. Uh, Trail and I are going to be going to Wyoming this week uh, to hunt antelope. It's going to be a seven day truck hunt. Uh, weather is going to be pretty hot, but I think during the night it's going to look, get a little chilly. The camera I'm going to be wearing is uh, from a company called Azire Gear. It's a really great company. The way they got me hooked on their camo is the pants. These are the Achieve Hiking Pants. And I've always struggled with like pants, hunting pants primarily because I've always worn like guys pants and they're always too short. And these, this company does custom inseam lengths. So these pants are extra small and the inseam length is I think 37 or 38, which is pretty long. Uh, so these are the pants I'm gonna be wearing. I have two sets of them. For base layers, I have, this is the Vision base layer. Just like wear it underneath your pants. And then I have two of the Vision base layer tops. They're long sleeve. And I have a little v neck. So if it gets a little cold, this is the Achieve Full Zip hoodie. I get cold all the time, even in the Go Hunt office. I'm always wearing a sweatshirt, so I like to be prepared. Uh, if it gets really cold, which it probably won't, it's gonna be really hot during the day, I have the Believe Packable Down Jacket, which will be super handy. It does get cold. My hat, I'm going to be wearing the, this is our, the Active in Tan. It's a really great hat, I love it. We have it in gray and white too. Um, for my shoes, I'm bringing two pairs of shoes. These are the Innovate Mud Claws. It's a men's shoe, but uh, thankfully we have like small enough sizes to where I can fit them. I think these are men's size nine. I think that's really big, but they fit good. I have a pair of the Slayer Apaches, but I didn't want to bring those because we're just going to be hunting antelope and we're not going to be climbing mountains and stuff, so I wanted something that is lightweight um, and not as stiff as the Apache. So, uh, the other shoes I'm going to be bringing are the shoes I'm wearing right now, which are my Crocs. These are the best, uh, especially just walking around camp and stuff like that. So, um, for gators, I really wanted to wear gators because we're going to be probably doing a lot of spot and stock, um, and if you have to get on your hands and knees, which is probably definitely going to happen, I just want to be extra safe and I hate when things get in my shoes, so I'm going to be wearing, these are the Kenetrek hiking gaiters, they're little gaiters still. So. For hydration, uh, I'm going to be bringing this Big Zip Evo, it's a 2 liter, we also have the 3 liters, but I just wanted the 2 liter. Uh, uh, then. Also, I have my Go Hunt nail jean, and I'm also going to be bringing this Yeti that I have. It's like my favorite thing. I use it every single day, so I wanted to bring it on my hunt as well. For my sleeping system, like I said, it's going to be a truck hunt, so I don't need to have like anything special. I'm going to be sleeping on one of my dad's cots, and then I also have this big bed roll um, that's really comfy. And then also, I'm going to bring this uh, sleeping pad. It's the Insulated Static B by Climate, and I think my bed is going to be super comfy, so I'm really excited about that. For the pack, this is the Stone Glacier Solo 3600. I'm going to be bringing um, this. Trail has actually let me borrow one of his, but we just brought this out so I can show you guys. For the game bags, I'm going to be bringing the Carnivore 3 by Caribou Gear. They're pretty handy, and I'm excited to put them to use. Uh, optics. So my bino harness. This is the marsupial bino harness. This is not the enclosed version. I haven't tried out the enclosed version, but I don't know. I really like this one. Um, the binos in here are Vortex. These are the Vortex uh, Razor HDs, 10 by 42s. For my rangefinder, this is the rangefinder 1500. Uh, super easy, nice to use. On the side. In the side pockets, I have like a little wind squeezy thing. And I also have a couple of random things on this side. I have a chapstick and like a Leatherman tool. I I'll probably take it out and put something else in there, but that's just kind of some other little storage pieces. For my spotting scope and my tripod, this is a 27 by 65, eight by 85 spotting scope. It's an angled spotting scope, which I'll be using. So for my bow, this is the Matthews Traverse. Um, and I guess I'll just kind of 
start with my release. This is a Spot Hog Whipper Snapper Three Finger. I really like this release. It, it um, it's just like the half closed, not like a full closed one. Um, I usually keep this right in here. When I'm hunting, I just stick it in there and zip it up and it's always right there. This is just like my spot where I keep it. And I've heard people talk about they don't like like handheld releases because it's, they're too easy to lose, but if you keep an eye on them and you're on top of your stuff, then I think you'll be fine. So I just try to keep my release in the same spot every single time. So like I said, this is the Matthews Traverse. Uh, the sight I'm gonna be shooting is the Spot Hog Fast Eddy XL, and it's a double pin. Um, for the quiver, this is a tight spot, but it's a rise, the five arrow. Uh, and then the rest I'm using is my hand ski. This is the Hybrid Hunter Pro. It's a limb driven rest. I've usually always shot with, uh, in the past, I've always had uh, cable driven rest. But I recently just found out like the benefits of having a limb driven rest. So I'm really excited to use this rest this, this hunting season. The stabilizers I'm gonna be running, these are from Matthews. I'm running a 10 inch on the front and then for the back bar, it's six inches. These are the arrows I'm going to be shooting. These are the Victory VAP TKOs. Uh, I shoot 100 grain. I don't shoot 20, 125 grain. Uh, I have these yellow biter nooks on here and then the Max, the Max Stealth fans. And I'm a real big fan of these guys. For the broadheads I'm going to be shooting, I shot these last year and I really liked them. So I'm, these are the Slick Trick, just the standard 100 grain broadheads. So for food, like I said, it's a truck camp, but we are bringing our jet boils. Trail has a jet boil, I have a jet boil, and then he also has uh, the jet boil like pan stove system, which I'm really excited to try out. So we'll probably grab some hot dogs, and I do have a couple mountain houses we're gonna be bringing, so it's gonna be like a mountain house, uh, like hot dog, kind of cook on the pan type stuff. Um, granola bars in the morning, I'm not much of a breakfast person, so We'll just stop at the store and grab some granola bars or apples or something. So I'm super excited to go on this hunt with Trail. Um, it's going to be a filmed hunt and I, that's never happened before. So I'm really stoked. Uh, all the gear I have, it's pretty laid back and I know it's not much, but we're not going on some crazy backcountry hunt where weight is everything and all that stuff. So we kind of have the leisure to bring whatever we like. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Subscribe and like and thanks for watching.